What's up everybody? In today's video I want to talk about what's going on with e-closings. Remember those things that we talked about for quite a while where they were going to take over the real estate industry and every closing was going to be done electronically? And obviously in the age of COVID, that would make sense, right? We don't have to meet in person. We can sign documents digitally, just like you did when you bought a house. Remember the DocuSign thing? Remember even maybe the Zocom thing where you took a picture of your earnest money deposit check and sent it to your escrow company? Stuart title, we can do that. So then you got to the end and you still had to go meet face to face potentially and sign documents. So I want to bring you up to date on what's going on with electronic closings right now, okay? so. You would think again, in the age of COVID, we'd be signing documents digitally all the time. Well, we're not, okay? So there's some hiccups in the road, there's some other issues. So an electronic closing uh, has been around for a handful of years. Stuart Title, we've been able to do them since about 2018-ish. Uh, it's basically a uh, interface of DocuSign and FaceTime. Kind of think of it as those two technologies that allow us to physically see the people that are selling their home or, or buying a home, signing documents, and we can have them digitally sign those documents and then have them, of course, recorded and notarized electronically. So there are a couple different things that are happening right now. For the most part, what we're seeing is hybrid e-closings. So what's a hybrid e-closing? Hybrid e-closing is where we're signing the majority of the documents electronically, okay? But the deed and the note have to be signed wet. Okay, which of course kind of eliminates some of the other stuff because you still got to meet face to face, right? And the deed and the note are of course two of the most important parts of the entire closing process. So we got that. Then of course we have other types of electronic closings where a borrower and a closer will meet face to face, but they sign everything digitally on a tablet. Well, that doesn't really help too much here because we're still bringing two people together, which is what we're trying to avoid, right? So then lastly, we have the remote online notarization, which is very popular, also known as the RON, and that is where all of the documents are signed electronically, right? Which is easy. So Stuart Title, we've been doing RONs and other hybrids for quite some time. We've closed people in all parts of the world, all parts of the country, from our office, from some of our closers have done it from their own home and it makes things so easy. But why haven't we done every single one of these ever since COVID electronically? Well, you would think, well, it's my mortgage lender's fault. They're not allowing us to do it. Not necessarily the case, okay? It's not necessarily your mortgage lender. In many instances, it's the investor behind the lender, okay? So keep in mind, in many cases, the mortgage company that you're getting your loan from, they sell that mortgage, right? Remember when we sold the mortgage-backed securities type thing and they bundle mortgages, right? They still sell mortgages off to investors, okay? And the investors, at this point in time, many of them, not all, but many of them are not comfortable accepting the electronic signatures, okay? So basically what the lender's saying is, if I can't sell your mortgage, because I don't want it on my balance sheet, I'm not gonna let you sign electronically, but we'll get you as far as we can, which is why we have the hybrid e-closing, okay? So with that said, there's a small caveat, cash transactions. Well, there's no lender involved. Cash transactions, electronic closing. So you got a buyer, uh, they're in Europe, or they're in Hong Kong or something, and they don't wanna fly in or go to the US consulate or sign a book an appointment there they could be signed electronically full without, because there's no lender and it makes it easy. Seller side closings. The seller, in many instances, not all, we've had a few where the sell, where the, uh, where they, the lender won't allow the seller uh, to also sign their versions of the documents electronically, but in many instances, yes, the selling side, the seller has the ability to sign electronically as well because there's no note or deed of trust involved in those signatures. So. We're moving along. So what does the future bring? We, in many instances, like in New York, New Jersey, early in COVID, they were pushing legislation forward, uh, hopefully quickly, to make it so that lenders and banks could accept electronic closings. Other states have tried to do the same. Uh, there are a few states that haven't done anything yet, but I think as the future progresses, just like anything else progresses, this will become a thing, right, where electronically closing your home loan will become a normal part of the process. But 
it's just been kind of a dragged out deal and COVID, hopefully, if there's one positive thing of this terrible pandemic, is it's causing legislation and movement in the electronic closing arena. Because previously when things were going so well and the market was great, like it wasn't really a upfront thing because people like, why would, who cares? Like if you can do it electronically, great. If you can't, great, it doesn't matter because everyone can be together and there's no problem with that. Well, now there's a problem with that. So hopefully it moves it along the way. So that's kind of the update of what's happening with electronic closings and why maybe you haven't been able to do your closing electronically, even though you've heard some buzz that that might be the case. You might have to settle for a hybrid or some other version of it as of right now. If you're lucky enough to find a lender, there's a couple lenders out there that are doing it. Uh, I know that Quicken Loans is somebody who's actually jumping on board with this and allowing many people to do full electronic closing. So I'm not endorsing Quicken Loans. I'm just stating that they're somebody who I know who has done them in the past, so they're out there. Um, but I'm Wade Vanderbilt with Stewart Title, and I help realtors and lenders grow their business. So if you want to partner with me, if you want to partner with Stewart Title, get information, check out my YouTube channel. I have almost 175 or 180 videos. I got almost 300 blogs on my website, dctitleguide.com. Tons of stuff to help realtors and lenders and even title professionals learn how to grow their business offline and online and make a lot of money. So here to help you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And if you're on DC Title Guy, fill out a form. And of course, you can email me at wvander at and I look forward to working with you soon.